Hey, this is David from Big Bits, and in this video, our 10th video in the PineScript uh, development tutorial series, we are going to talk about percentage-based uh, profits and uh, stop losses. So these are actually going to be market orders with the strategy, and if you've been following along, you'll notice I've cleaned up the strategy quite a bit. It's very basic. If you've just joined in this video, it's going to look kind of dumb uh, because the strategy is just worthless when you're looking at it but that's because we've made it highly flexible and uh, this is just an example for the tutorial series now you can see the strategy has it buy when uh, we have the crossover of our first moving average over the second one and we've added in the new feature of the take profit or stop loss which had it exit here with a stop loss of 15 percent now I'll get into how that works again in just a minute, but we also had a buy here and it continued to sell with our old strategy settings of crossing under the second moving average as well. So we've managed to add in our take profit and stop loss alongside of our moving average crossovers that we use to also potentially exit the trades. Now, if all this sounds confusing and you hadn't watched the previous videos, uh, it's probably a good idea to go back and maybe even start from the beginning. So let's continue on and let's take a look at how this is actually done. Now, the only difference we've made in our actual uh, strategy entries or exits is we've added a new line in every condition where we had an entry, we placed an exit. And what the exit does, it essentially triggers a market order once your profit gets hit or your loss gets hit. Now, uh, these are all different parameters in the exit function. And let's take a look. The first one is profit or lot, <laughs> profit or loss, excuse me. And that's the text you're gonna see here on the uh, strategy itself when it prints on the chart and we've associated that with the 1 over 2 entry ID and we've created a new variable called profit target and a new variable called loss target. These are used to calculate the percentage differences so that we can actually get the right numbers uh, for it to exit at no matter what we are looking at. Now I'll go over how we calculate those in just a minute, but let's go over how the profit and loss targets actually work when you're working with the exit. Now keep in mind we are just doing market orders. There is an option to use a limit order to take profit. Uh, it's not a big deal to me to use the market orders. Personally, I don't trade very often with strategies. I might look at a daily chart and trade on strategies so there's probably not going to be a lot of trades going on for me so the market fees aren't that big of a deal but if you're interested in using limit orders to trade uh, shorter time frames to and in most cases you get better uh, fee rates on limit orders so you might want to consider using limit for your take profit instead of a market order but we're going to use market and when we do this we have to give the parameter a value that it expects and that value is based in ticks. Now what a tick is, that is the interval between prices shown on the chart. And let's go back to our chart here. You can see the interval on our chart here is based in pennies, since we're using the US dollar as our base uh, currency here. So each tick is 0 0.01 dollars or one cent. Now, if we wanted to set our take profit exactly one dollar, above where our entry was, we would have to use 100 ticks. So to do this with percentages, we have to calculate it. And the same thing goes for the loss parameter. It's also calculated in ticks. Now, it's important to note that the loss uh, isn't really a negative number that you're working with. The, the system knows that the loss is a negative number. The measurement in ticks is just that it's a measurement so it's going to be a positive number so if you're going down you don't have to use a negative tick number it's just a measure of distance uh, downward and the system knows that and I'll show you how we calculate that in just a moment but before we do the calculation and that's right here uh, I'll explain that all much better in just a moment but let's take a look we had to add some new inputs here uh, we added our take profit percentage and our stop loss percentage uh, we have the minimum value at 0 0.01 and once again that's because they have to be positive numbers even though you're setting a loss below where you enter and I set the step size which is the interval between the values 
uh, on the settings to 0.5, which is half a percent. If you need to tune that down, you can just change it to 0.25 or 0.1, whatever you want. But let me show you the settings here and show you how this is going to actually impact the chart. Now, I have some arbitrary numbers of 30 and 15 percent, that is the profit and loss respectively. And this probably won't work for most people. It, probably wouldn't even work for me. But uh, for our example purpose here, I'm going to change the stop loss percentage to 15.5%. And you should see that this actually moves down to the next candle because the percentage down increased. Now you can see, I just kind of proved my point that uh, the percentage increases uh, on the stop loss means it goes down further and you don't have to use a negative percentage uh, on trading view like that. So I'm just going to save uh, our changes to our settings there. I'm going to go back down. Let's look at our calculations for how we calculated how many ticks we would need. Now, the profit target, this is a pretty straightforward calculation. We have our close times our percentage uh, divided by how many ticks we have. Now let me explain this and I can actually kind of show you through some of the math here. Um, our take profit percentage is 30%. Now we have to divide that by 100 so we get the actual value we need to multiply the close by. So if it's 30% and we have the number 30, we have to divide it by 100, we now have 0.3. Okay, if the price were say $10,000 and uh, that was the close, we would multiply that by 0.3, which is $3,000. Now, if we were to just use 3,000 ticks, now remember the ticks are 0 0.01 on this chart, so if we did 3,000 of those, that would only be $30 up uh, for our take profit, and that's not what we want. We want 30% based on the example, which would be 3,000. So we divide that 3,000 by the minimum tick size, by that 0 0.01, and now it's, I believe, 300,000. So now it'll actually place the profit, the <laughs> the take profit up $3,000 at $13,000. And similarly, we do the same uh, exact calculation for the loss target. We just use the stop loss percentage instead in that calculation. So there you have it. That's really all there is to it. Um, I, I'm trying to think if there's really anything else to do here with the stop loss, the stop loss and take profit. And I really don't think there is in this video. You can see where we entered and where we exit. If you have an idea of something you'd like to see added to this, uh, please leave a comment. If you like the video, definitely please like it. Um, if you like videos like this, please subscribe. I'm always coming out with new ones related to development, trading, uh, cryptocurrency, those sorts of things. So I would really appreciate that if you would. But uh, stay tuned to the next video and you know, have a great day.